And similarly, if point A is x1 by 1, point B is x2 y2, and P divide AB into ratio m to n, and therefore we can find the value of x here. So this will be y2 minus y1 is c, and AC will be x2 minus x1. Therefore, the x coordinate of P will be the x coordinate of A x1 plus this part AD. What is the length of AD? It will be the total length of AC, which is x2 minus x1 times this fraction, the ratio, m to m plus n. Because m is only one part of the total length of m plus n. Although this is a ratio, but we can express this in the form of a fraction. And therefore we can simplify this. And at this point we can cancel out this term, mx1, and therefore the final formula will be like this. And this is the section formula. And actually this is very difficult to remember. x, this part, this part, is n times x1 plus m times sorry, x2. This is the numerator. And then the denominator will be m plus n. So we do a cross multiplication in this way. If you don't want to do a simple triangle, then you just remember this formula. But in the first place, you need to draw the diagram correctly. And similarly, for y. Y will be m times y2 plus this ratio, n times y1. And the denominator will be m plus n. 